Hello, my name is Mrs. Travis Keene. I'm a museum educator at the Baltimore Museum of Industry, where every Tuesday we lead a program called We Workers. Today we're going to talk about machines, and you will see if you come to our museum, we have a vast array of machines. I have a little friend this morning that's going to help me with my program. His name is Chicken Tea. And we're gonna talk about mach machines, but we're also gonna have some stories about sheep, that sheep help us learn about machines as well. Hi, how are you, Chicken Tig? Are you good? Yes. So I understand you have some jokes about sheep. Okay. What's your first joke about sheep? Uh, chicken Tig, what? what? What is it? <laughs> okay. Why, where, where do sheep go to get their hair cut? I have no idea. I have no idea where they go to get their hair cut. Oh, they go to the Baba shop. Okay, the Baba shop. You're funny, chicken team. So do you have one more? One more joke. Okay, okay. Where do sheep go on vacation? That's a good one too. Where do sheep go on vacation? The Bahamas, the Bahamas. Oh, that's funny too. Do you know where the Bahamas is? Where is that? <clears throat> yes, it is. It's south of Florida. It's an island nation south of Florida, isn't it? Well, it's interesting that you talked about sheep and their haircuts. Sheep are industrious little animals. The average sheep, did you know this, chicken tea, uh, can produce from two to 30 pounds of wool a year. Isn't that a lot? That's a lot, speaking of being industrious, yeah. And you know what we can use that wool for? That's right, that's right. Socks, you can make wool blankets, you can make wool coats, wool dresses, wool skirts, wool gloves. Oh my gosh, wool hats, all kinds of things you can make out of wool. <clears throat> well, let's sit back. We're going to learn about machines and we're going to hear a story about some sheep that have a machine. So you want to you sit and listen? Okay. The first story we're going to read is called Sheep in a Jeep by Nancy Shaw. Sheep in a Jeep. A Jeep is a machine, isn't it? Chicken tea. Yep, it is. A machine that helps you get around, correct? Beep, beep. Oh my goodness. Here he is in a red Jeep, right? Sheep in a Jeep on a hill that's steep. Yep, that is a steep hill, isn't it? It looks like it's going down, down, down. Uh-oh, the Jeep won't go. It won't go. What's the matter with this machine? How many sheep are in this sheep? Do we know? It's like one, two, three, four, five. I see five sheep. It won't go. Sheep leap to push the Jeep. Okay, if you have a problem, try to find a solution, right? It won't go. We're gonna leap to push that Jeep. What's gonna happen, Chicken Jeep? Jeep shove. Jeep grunt. Oh, Jeep don't think to look up front. What? What's going to happen now? Jeep goes splash. Jeep goes thud. Jeep goes deep in gooey mud. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's stuck in the mud. Oh my goodness. Can you believe that? Jeep tug. Look at, they're all pulling. They're gonna pull that Jeep out of the mud. Good heavens. Jeep shrug. They can't get it to go. They worked on it, didn't they? It's not going. For heaven's sake, this machine is stuck in the mud. Ooh, Jeep, sheep yelp. Sheep get help. I see some animals that are gonna help them. Those look like hogs, right? Hogs love mud. This seems like a good solution. Maybe the hogs can help, huh? Oh, Jeep comes out. Jeep, sheep, excuse me, shout. The sheep shout. They're like, yay! Boy, look at all that mud, too. Those little hogs, those pigs were so helpful, weren't they? Look at them dancing. <laughs> the sheep are so happy. Sheep cheer. Oh, dear. The driver forgets to steer. What? 
They're all in the Jeep. They're going down the road. They're not paying attention. You can't forget to steer. Now what's going to happen? Ah, oh, Jeep in a heap. Sheep weep. Oh my goodness. They're crying. Look at their sheep. They're, they're the sheep's Jeep hit a tree. Oh, for heaven's sake. It hit a tree. Now what? Sheep sweep the heap. They have to sweep everything up, right? Sweep up the trash. Sweep up the things that fell off. Sweep up the tire. Oh, goodness. Jeep for sale. Cheap. Oh, no. I think they gave up on their machine, right? For heaven's sakes, they gave up. Well, along with this book, I have a little activity. If you go to our web page, and you'll see that you can cut out a little character that looks like this. You can cut this out. Color, cut, glue. What you do is you color him and then cut him out and glue him to a stiffer piece of paper. If you don't have any stiff paper, you can use a cereal box that would work as well. And then you'll have a little uh, sheep you can play with. Look at this, isn't this fun? She can take a little guy you can play with. Well, that leads me to another story I think you're gonna get a kick out of. This story is called Ba for Beginners. More sheep, look at this, Ba for Beginners. So you can understand sheep, huh? Look at these guys. This is by Deborah. Ba for beginners. The language of sheep is called ba, and every single word is ba. Boy, that would be easy to read, right? Chicken take my cookies. You don't have to learn one word. One word. There are many different ways to speak ba, but when sheep are lambs, they only know one kind. Ba, ma, ma, ma. So their teacher, Mrs. Ramsbottom, takes them on a field trip. So they need to learn a little more, these guys. They need to learn a little more. Look at this, they're off on a field trip. When ba is near, it's loud and clear. Ba! <laughs> when ba is far, it's hard to hear. Ba! See, look at their way over there on that hill. Way far away on the hill. You can't hear them very well. When a lamb is all alone, its ba sounds small and thin. Ba, ba. Ooh, that lamb is afraid. I see a wolf. You see a wolf? Yep, I see a wolf in the field. But ba sounds big and fat when all the lambs join in. Ba! You think they scared that wolf? They scared that wolf away. Oh my goodness. Ba is shivery when it snows. Ba. And it is whisked right away when the wind blows. Ba, ba. Look at there, they're playing with kites. Pretty soon you guys can play with kites out in the wind. Ba, look at that. The kites they're playing with. When sheep are climbing, they don't have enough breath to ba. They just huff and puff and puff and huff. Look at them going up the hill. Oh my goodness, they can't even make any sound. They're breathing hard, breathing heavily. Ba sounds rather wobbly when it's dark as night. But ba is calm and flat. When the sun is bright, ba! Look at they're out near the ocean. They're on the sand. Boy, that looks inviting, doesn't it? The sheep are outside. When sheep sit on grass, their bottoms turn bright green. Look at them. They got grass stains. I'm sitting on the out in the lawn, out in the pasture. See them? <laughs> A bubble bath with bubbly baws makes their bottoms clean. Look at them playing in the tub. One of them's playing with some bubbles. Isn't that funny? See this one over here playing with bubbles. 
How funny is that? These sheep are hilarious, aren't they? Mrs. Ramsbottom has finished the field trip. It is time for the lambs to take their ba exam. They all get a gold star. And now it's time for their very best ba's. Look at the gold stars. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now it's time for their very best ba's. The ones they say to their mama, ma's, and their pa's. Ba! Look at that. They succeeded. Isn't that wonderful? The little sheep. Well, and to go along with this story, I also have another little activity you might enjoy. Again, you go to our website and you, you'll you find a couple of things. First, you'll find a little pattern like this for you to use to cut out, cut and glue and fold and make a cube like this so they can play the game. This little cube is just uh, uh, like I said, paper. I put some paper in it. I wadded up a piece of paper and put it inside it before I glued it together to give it some more stability. Again, so that you can play with this. Play with this and, and play with it and, and turn it. What you do is you toss it and whatever number is on top, that's the number. And what you play it with is, again, there are more numbers on that website. There's a number, a one, and there's a two, and there's a number three. And I glued each one of these on a paper bag. If you don't have paper bags at home, you can glue them on a, a, on a bowl. Uh, you can do something like that. It doesn't have to be a paper bag. But then what you do is you toss your little cube and whatever number it lands on, on top, that's the number of the item you put in the bag. Let's say it lands on a, on a two. The two is the top number. I'm gonna take two little cotton balls. Now, you don't have to use cotton balls. If you have cotton balls at home, that's good. If you don't, you can use paper clips, you can use pennies. You put two in here, one, two. Then you toss the tube again, the cube, excuse me, one, and this time it's a three. So this time I'm gonna put three, one, two, three little cotton balls inside the bag that has a three on it. I glued a three on it, put in one, two, three, and you do this about 10 times, and then when you're done, you count all together and see how many how many items you have all together. This is a little game you can play yourself. It has, uh, uh, like I said, numbers one, two, three. There is a little poem that uh, maybe your parents know, and it's about, ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. That's why we have three. One for the master, one for the dame, one for the little boy that lives down the lane. So that's how we got three. Well, I hope you enjoyed this today. I hope you have an opportunity to make the little sheep that, that is on our website. And I hope you can play the game. And I hope to see you again next week. Take care.